Comedy Key. If you all ready to laugh tonight, make some noise. Oh, come on, man. You can do better than that. Make it sound like the Staples Center in here. Make some noise. You guys, thank you guys. We appreciate y'all coming out. Keep that energy up. This comedian coming up to the stage is very funny, man. Give it up for Big Fun. What's going on, y'all all right? A lot of y'all looked at me like, damn, I thought that was security. <laughs> so I'm like, that's a big motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you guys to put one hand in the air. Everybody. Boy, your hand in the fist. Come across. You motherfuckers just buckled up for the ride. It's about to get gangsta as hell in here. You understand me? Listen, how old do you guys think I am? How, how old do you guys think I am? So one person got it right. I'm 28, right? A lot of people think I'm like 33. Some people say I'm 25. No, I'm 28. And as I get older and older, I realize I can't do the same shit as I used to when I was younger. You understand know what I'm saying? It's like when I was younger, I used to, you know, hop out on the court and hoop all day long, go home, not, you know, not stretching them like that. Go to sleep, wake up, I'd be good. I could eat whatever I could. You know what I'm saying? Like I eat everything that was on my plate. Now that I'm getting older, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. I'm not eating shit that's gonna give me heartburn. <laughs> I gotta stretch before I do anything. Anything. Like if I wanna fuck, I gotta stretch. <laughs> I look like a woman putting on her pants in the morning time. I'm like, listen, bitch. You about to really get all this shit right here. I can't do it. And as I get older, relationships, you know, they, they get a little more tense, right? So has anybody here been on like dating apps or anything like that? Yeah. You don't, you don't be shy, like you've been on dating apps, you know? It was like, I ain't saying shit. <laughs> there used to be a uh, dating site called POF back in the day. Anybody here been on POF? It's called Plenty of Fish. Right? And I'll break it down to you how this shit used to work. Okay? It's got a username, picture, caption, age, height, shit that didn't fucking matter, and if say they was mobile or not. Okay? Our username was Nasty Nancy. Listen, I'm a nasty nigga. I don't give a fuck. We was on the same page. You understand know I me? Mean? Her pictures, it was titties up. For men, that's a red flag because we want to see everything. Her caption said, you gonna know why they call me Nasty Nancy. I was like, hell yeah, we on the same page, for real. <laughs> she was around my height before you guys, before y'all asked me, I'm six foot 11, okay? At the time, I was six eight-ish. I say ish, because I didn't know what the fuck I was, but she said she was five foot 10. I was like, cool, I ain't gotta pick her up. I ain't gotta bend down to go kiss her, nothing like that. It was shit that didn't fucking matter, and it said that she was mobile. I was like, I really ain't gotta go pick her up now. We started texting for a couple days, and I was like, okay, she don't seem like no psycho. Let's, let's hang out, okay? Let's hang out. She's like, okay, cool. So I was like, I, I got to the spot and uh, I couldn't find her. And she said, uh, where you at? I said, I'm right here, where you at? She said, I'm right here. I said, okay, look, I'm gonna stand in one spot. <laughs> Just come up to me and we can start this date. All of a sudden I felt something pulling on my pants leg and I looked down and that bitch was in a wheelchair. Now I didn't know she was five foot sitting on tens. You know what I'm saying? So she, told, she didn't tell me. She had the nerve to tell me that I catfished her because when I was trying to line myself up for with my, my, line my beard up, she was like, you know, you catfished me. Now I fucked my beard up and I clean, I cut it all off. She said, I only like guys with beards. I said, I like a bitch who can run in a situation. <laughs> but that's not the worst thing my buddy told me. He got catfished before and it was a way worse story than mine. He came up to me and said, hey man, you know, I think I found a woman that I really, really care about. I said, hey man, that's cool. I said, what she look like? He showed me a picture. I said, damn, she got a lot of makeup on. <laughs> he was like, yeah, she a makeup artist. I said, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So she kind of she strong. He's like, yeah, we, we met in the gym. I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You making me kind of nervous though, but it's cool. He's like, yeah, man, we about to go on a date. I said, all right, well, let me know how the date go afterwards. Later on that night, that dude called me. <laughs> he said, hey, help me. I was like, what? I said, are you whispering? What's wrong with you? He 
He's like, I need your help. Help, come, come pick me up. I said, first of all, why did you drive? That's the first thing. Second of all, why are you whispering? He said, you, you remember, you remember, you remember that girl? Remember that girl? Remember that girl? Remember that girl? Remember that girl I told you about? I said, bro, are you really, really crying right now? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, you remember getting your ass whooped where you got on repeat for everything that you say? I was one of them good old ass who was like, you got suspended more than five days. You was, he, 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 and your bottom lip started telling, he, 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 he. So he was on the phone, help, help me, help, help me, help, help, help me, help me. I was like, okay, what's going on? He's like, you remember, remember that girl? Remember that girl? Remember that girl? Remember that girl I told you about? I said, yeah, what happened? He said, <laughs> So when we, when we was kissing, we was kissing, and then and I, and I turned around, real, na- real nasty like. I was like, okay, that has nothing to do with what the problem is. He said, well, well I, gra- I grabbed the chest. I was like, ooh, ooh, you strong in, strong in the chest. I said, okay. So he was like, so I, gra- so, I gra- so I grabbed the ass, I grabbed the ass. He was like, ooh, you, you strong, strong in the ass too. I was like, God, Lord Jesus. He says, so I reached down, I reached down, and I felt something. I felt, I thought she had like a tumor, a tumor under, by her thighs. I was like, strong chest, strong ass, tumor by the thighs. <laughs> oh, nigga, that's a man. <laughs> oh, nigga, that's a man. He's like, I know, come pick me up. <laughs> nope, click, and I hung up the phone. <laughs> nope, not doing that shit. Because the original story of how he met her, he met her in the gym, but he was trying to sweat out. He was trying to sweat out his alcohol. See, like me, I've never drank or smoked a day in my life. And to a lot of people, that's weird. People think, they say, oh, that's a red flag. Fuck you, I take care of my body. I've never drank or smoked a day in my life. And there's shit in life that make you not want to do things, right? Like you ever see some shit like, like make you like not want to do it no more? Right. So let me tell you why I don't drink. I see my cousin get drunk. He fucked the ugly chick. Fuck that. You ever seen a little black kid with silver teeth before? It's the ugliest goddamn baby you ever seen in your life. Not even the fronts, nigga, it's the whole grill. He has his side tooth missing like a, like a 30 year old woman. You know what I'm saying? Like she was older and it was an adult tooth already. And now I don't smoke because my auntie, my auntie started smoking weed and started cleaning the house. Now I said, y'all, that may seem normal. No, no, no. She started vacuuming with the lamp. <laughs> she took the lamp and made the noise and everything. She said, Eeeh. I said, I don't want, wait, hold the fuck up. What are you doing? Auntie, you're not even picking up nothing. She said, damn, you're right. I gotta change the light bulb. That bitch just changed the filter. <laughs> I said, I don't, want, I don't want no part of that shit. But like all the black people in here, family is everything, true or false. Family is everything, that same auntie, her name was Auntie Ron, well, Auntie Uncle Ron, because it was one of them, she had a switch. She, he had a switch, one of them, them flip flops, right? So she was Auntie Veronica, then changed into Uncle Ron. So it was Auntie Uncle Ron. Let me describe Auntie Uncle Ron. Auntie Uncle Ron looked like one of the whispers and Ron Osley at the same time. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie Uncle Ron had a wife, and I was one of those nosy kids that got in trouble and got shipped off to that family member's house. You ever been shipped off to a family member's house? Because you was bad as hell. Mom and daddy didn't want to deal with you no more. I'm going to ship your ass off to another relative. I seen Auntie Uncle Ron's wife getting out the car with another man. Came in the house. I had to poke my head out like this. I was like, ooh, shit, this is about to go down. Auntie Uncle Ron was sitting in the living room talking about busted. It's two of them clock in the morning, where you been? <laughs> Baby, didn't you get my two way? I was with my girlfriend. You a lie. I called Keisha and Tanya and they were both at home. But I didn't say them no, but the only for I said, Auntie Uncle Ron, that bitch is lying to you. You understand know me? But then there was another time. Has anybody ever been to Shakey's? Shakey's is one of the, the best pieces in the fucking world. Grease as hell, make you boo boo, but they got these little mojos. Little, little potato sliders that be good as a motherfucker. So I had a good grade on my test in summer school. Because mind you, I was still at Auntie Uncle Ron's house. And she was like, he was like, she was like, they was like, we gonna, we gonna go to Shakey's. I was like, oh, hell yeah, we going to Shakey's. We got done and came back. 
sat on the couch, Auntie Uncle Ron turned the TV on and caught the news and checked her phone and said, it was some, damn, there's some bill collectors and some homies trying to borrow some money. I said, Auntie Uncle Ron, there's a squeaky sound going on upstairs. Auntie Uncle Ron said, that's weird because don't nobody else live here. <laughs> so I said, okay, you might want to check it out. So Auntie Uncle Ron went upstairs, opened up the door, and said, what the hell is going on between the sheets and my home? Baby, wait, let me explain before you start to point your cane. Girl, I'm about to have a fit. I'm downstairs like, oh, this about to be some shit. <laughs> Buzz Young Ron gave her so many warnings to not fuck up, and she did it anyway. And that goes to show you that women don't listen. Fellas, am I right or wrong? Women don't like to listen, and it's been like that since the dawn of time. My man, who was the first two people on this earth? Adam and Eve. Who fucked up? Eve. <laughs> Eve, Eve, Adam, oh, she said, Adam, no, God and Adam told her don't eat the apple. What did she do? She ate the apple. Who told her to eat the apple? Does God told her to eat the apple. Is that what you said? Oh. The serpent told her to eat the apple. The snake told her to eat the apple. And what did she do? She ate the apple. You know what the snake represent? Re re well, you know what the snake resemble? Dick. Women don't listen, nothing unless that dick is out. Listen, my name is Big Fudge. I'ma holler at y'all. Blessings to you. This has been a Funny Media Group production.